Yep, yep, coming. We Hi. <laughs> you've already, you've already come up. We've, we've already come up. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, for people who don't know anything about the trouble with Jessica, what can they expect from the film? It's funny. It's hilariously dark and funny, and it will make it will cheer you up. There haven't been many comedies around. There's a lot of big action movies, sci-fi. Forget about those movies. Come and watch this film because it's funny. It's dark humour. It's uncomfortable. You may leave the cinema with a little wet patch on your seat, but you will come out with a sense of having gone on a journey and learned something about the characters and about yourself. And you'll have a, you'll have this warm, glowing feeling inside that life is better an hour and a half later than you thought it was when you went in. And when I watched it, I mean, I had I didn't have any preconceptions. Have any I was just quite shocked by the turn in events. You know, I was sort of settling in for a different type of film. Um, what did you love about the script when you first read it and why did you want to make the film? Uh, well, I wrote it, so, oh, yeah. Um, why did I want to make the film? Well, I wanted to, I, I'm middle class, so what do, I, what do I do? I write, you know, I don't write about elephants in Africa. I don't know about them. I know about middle class people in North London and there's a lot to satirise about myself my friends and the people that live in North and West London. So I wanted to make a comedy and to look at, look at contempt, you know, it's a sort of state of the nation. What are, what are our values? Are they good? Are they bad? You know, we live in London. It's a bit of a doggy dog world. You know, there's, there's a, you know, there's a housing crisis. There's an inflation crisis. What do these things drive people to do? And in this film, quite bad shit. And I love this cast that you've assembled and how they're all kind of in this, you know, tight space that can feel quite claustrophobic at times and they just bounce off each other like ping pong balls. How do you decide who you're going to play all your characters and what was it like working with them? It's not so much how do I decide who, who, who do I get, it's more like who do I not want in a way. They're all great, they were very difficult to get but I couldn't have been more thrilled that I got hold of them. And it does play out almost like a, a theatre play, the fact that it is in this location. Um, what were some of the highlights and challenges of shooting the film? Well, I mean, it's, the, the challenge is, is to, to um, make a film like this look visually interesting. Um, and I, I think we've, we've achieved that. You know, part of that is finding a great location. And the other part of that is using lights you know, to create areas of light and darkness. And I think there's a there's a bit of a sort of knee-jerk reaction that whenever whenever anyone makes a film with a lot of dialogue in it, people say it's a play. I think that's a bit, um, you know, it's a bit of a shallow interpretation. I mean, one of my favorite films um, is Festen, you know, the Danish film, which has got a lot of dialogue in it. It became a play, but it's still a movie, it's not a play. Yeah. And, and, and there's a lot of physical comedy as well as a lot of lit witty lines. Did you have a favourite moment or a favourite line? My favourite lines are the ones I wrote. Uh, no, I mean, my co-writer is brilliant. So he's, he's written a lot of great stuff. I'm just happy it seems to work. You know, they're all... You can't have a favourite line. You, you, just, you just want the whole to work, really. And I love how all the characters are so contrasting. And like you say, they're kind of like poking fun a bit, you know, at some of these stereotypes. But, you know, there is some like truth in what comes out in their relationships and their dynamics. And you sort of feel like going through this maybe brings them out the other end, you know, a bit different than when they went in. You know, what do you want people to take away in that sense? Well, it's interesting that uh, you made that point because at the very end, uh, Olivia Williams' character said, I, I shouldn't have brought her. And, she, and then she says, but if I didn't, if I hadn't done, we wouldn't be the same people we are now. And really, the interesting point about that is that they've been living a lie in a lot of their marriages and they have to go to hell and back and, and face up to the truth to learn about who they are. So even though it's painful, they come out better people, I think. And I do think there's something supremely British about sort of, you know, juxtaposing tragedy and comedy. And it does feel like sometimes we do need to laugh at ourselves a bit. I mean, I guess the success of things like Succession show that too. Yeah, I mean, I love Succession. I think we're, we're very good at dark material. Also, I mean, I'm a big fan of Scandinavian cinema and they're very good, you know, Swedish films, Danish films, hilariously dark. You know, I love all that stuff. And I think it's because the weather's so miserable. Well, thank you so much. Really enjoy the night. Thank you. Congratulations. Cheers.